Yeah, all right. Hi, this is Ideist here. This is going to be a response to uh, Mendem's response to my response. Um, all right, I don't even know where to begin with this guy. He's uh, he's off the wall. Um, anyway, yeah, he's arguing now that uh, the reason that Einstein specifically said that he wasn't an atheist uh, was political, and you know, he's he said, well, if he was still alive today, he's using the argumentum ad futurum. Uh, arguing from the fu future logical fallacy, um, you know, that he's speaking for uh, Einstein now, what Einstein would say in the future, it's completely, uh, you know, I'm not even going to get into it because it's not even arguable, it's his opinion on it, just like everything that he states. See, he doesn't like to, uh, you know, use anything that's objective, everything, well, not everything, but a lot of what he says is completely subjective, it's completely subjective bullshit. Gary likes to, uh, you know, rant and, and holler about how he's got everything figured out and it's all a game and you know but yet he's compassionate and, and fucking jumps off the wall because the amazing atheist eats a fucking cheeseburger you know um i i don't know i, I don't even know why i'm fucking returning a response to this but yeah you know uh gary's one of those type of people that you know like years ago he'd be arguing for fucking Newton Newton's got it all figured out and anybody that disagree with it is fucking wrong same thing if Ptolemy was still around or you know <laughs> before Copernicus he would be arguing that if you didn't <clears throat> you know believed in Ptolemy that you were fucking wrong and an idiot and be hooting and hollering about that too cause he's got it all figured out he's got all the answers you know he thinks everything is just a consumer and a reproducer and you know but if you don't agree with the way that his uh, subjective idea of what everything should be like is, then you're a fucking asshole and a fucking douchebag and a dipshit. Well, what if my fucking, uh, you know, what about the, what about the, if my evolved and uh, naturally selected brain decides that I just want to fucking eat and rape people? You know, because that's the way that I was designed and that's what I want to do. And you actually can't say it's wrong because that's just your subjective bullshit opinion. You don't have any objective morals. You just have that opinion of yours because that's the way that your mind works. And if we're all just a swirling bunch of fucking chemicals in people's brains, then no one would say anybody says about anything isn't right. And, you know, I don't care if it comes from a pack mentality or if it comes from whatever else. At the end of the day, that's the way that you think and that's the way that it should be. Nobody should be able to judge you on that. <clears throat> If the amazing atheist wants to make fucking 500 videos about eating fucking cheeseburgers, well, then that's his, you know, his right to do it, because that's the way that his fucking chemicals and his brain works. And he's actually just following the fucking path that all the other fucking ancestors that came before him went up to. And, you know, why should you have an opinion on it? Basically, in, if you listen to Gary, he thinks everything's meaningless. You know, everything's meaningless to him, and that's completely fine. I don't agree with that. I think that there is objective moral values. I think there is a definite line between right and wrong, and I don't think it just happened because of evolution. I don't agree that, you know, regardless of what your fucking thoughts are on it, that rape and killing and murdering somebody's wrong. And I think that Gary probably agrees with that as well. He just thinks that it comes from, you know, evolution. But there's people that still think that you should be able to eat things, you know? And he keeps going back to fucking animals and saying, well, animals do this, and it's a pretty cruel and fucking, you know, mean world, and blah, blah, blah. You know, it, it's... <laughs> it's it's really crazy. And, you know, he thinks everything just popped out of nowhere and came from nowhere. And, you know, if you ask anybody that's in an engineering field, or if you ask anybody that, you know, has a clue about the law of causality and, and everything else, and if you ask them, you know, if there is the design to things in the universe, yeah, there is a design, and we can argue whether it designed itself from the bottom up or from top down or however you want to do it, but there's information encoded into it. Simple elements just combined, and why did they reproduce? There's an information code in it to reproduce. There's no necessity in it to reproduce. Why did the first bacteria decide to reproduce and not just die? They didn't just fucking come from nowhere and then decide to self-replicate and then decide to reproduce without there being information. Do you not get that, Gary? See, that's what you guys don't have the answer to, and then, you know, you'll jump back farther and say, well, we just don't have that answer yet, or we just don't have the information yet, or whatever. There is no necessity for any life to be in the fucking universe in the first place. Why would there be? Why can't the universe just be the universe without life? Why did fucking elements decide to form and then decide to fucking reproduce, self-replicate, and then start eating shit. Why didn't they just fucking be what they were? Are you telling me there's fucking not information and everything? 
are you telling me there's not a design and a code into everything? Because if you want, I can argue that with you on fucking a hundred different ways as well. And I'm sure you'll come up with something else where we just haven't figured it out yet, or some pseudoscience bullshit, or you'll argue from the future again, or you'll jump into multiverses, or, you know, oscillating universes and whatever else. And if you want, we can have that conversation too. But all I would like to say is, is that most of your fucking rants are complete bullshit, and no, fuck you. I think you're a fucking moron. I think you're completely subjective about almost everything that you talk about, and if it doesn't fall into what the dynamic of what you believe is, you think everybody else is an asshole. And that's completely fine. You have the the First Amendment right to do that, and I will completely respect it. But if you think I'm just going to sit back and let you fucking tell me what I believe or what is right and what is wrong, well, then you're completely fucking wrong. And secondly and lastly, I fucking, I've answered this about a hundred times to people in my fucking videos. Well, why do you fucking, uh, what do you call it, uh, moderate your comments? I moderate my comments because I used to have a shitload of videos on here, and it got between atheists and Christians or atheists and Muslims going back and forth, and... Some of them would be calling each other fag haters or you're racist because, you know, you don't like this and that. And then Christians would be telling them to go burn in hell. If you guys want to have those fucking arguments and discussions, don't have them in my fucking videos. If you guys want to have intelligent discussion, more than glad to fucking approve everything. If you want to call me a douchebag or an asshole, well, then that's completely fine as well. I will let you. But I'm not going to have people, you know, doing racial shit or fucking sexual hating or fucking anything like that because it's not the fucking place for it in my channel. And lastly, the reason reason that I actually uh, moderate my comments is because I actually read through all my comments. I'm not just one of those asshole YouTubers that's looking to get 5 billion fucking subscribers, just make videos to hear themselves speak and not respond to the people that actually take the time out to respond to their videos. If you actually leave a uh, intellectual response, I will actually try to comment to every single person back. It actually gives a little bit of value to watching my videos instead of just me going blah, 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 waiting to get 5 billion fucking responses and 5 billion subscribers and not actually fucking taking the time to comment back to the people that fucking respond to my videos. If you take the time and it's something that I think is worth responding to, I will try to get to everybody. And I'm not saying that somebody like Thunderfoot or The Amazing Atheist can respond to 50,000 people. I don't have that many people, so I try to respond to everybody I can. Actually shows that I'm listening to what you have to say and not just making videos to listen to myself. Anyway, that's all I had to say. I hope everybody's well, and until next time, think hard.